For those of you struggling with this project, this is what we're going to make. This is a simple uh, key organizer, and we're going to start with a new part file. To make this, we're going to make a sketch on the XZ plane. Make a circle first. You're going to type in 0.625 and make another one just to the side of it. That's also 0.625. We're going to make those circles lined up. So I'm going to use my uh, vertical constraint there. And I'm going to say distance between the two circles is 3 inches. Then if you grab your rectangle tool, go all the way down to the bottom, choose polygon. And we want two polygons that from the top to the bottom are 0.3 inches tall. Again, top to the bottom is 0.3 inches. I'm also going to grab that vertical constraint and click on the top of each hexagon to make sure those are straight. Then I'm going to grab my three-point arc, click on the top of my left circle, the top of my right circle, move my mouse in and type the number 7. Bottom of my left, bottom of my right, move my mouse up and type the number 7. I'm going to make these tangent with this button here. So I click on the arc, click on my left circle, click the arc, click the right circle. Click the arc, click the right, click the arc, click the left. Now we're going to extrude that, so type the letter E on your keyboard and click on the three areas you want to extrude. We're going to make this 0.125. We're going to make a new sketch on the top. It's with a right click. Right click, project geometry of the whole top part of the part, and offset. Go 0 0.025. E for extrude. And just between the two, we're going to type in 0 0.25. 0 0.025. look at the underside, click, right click, new sketch, click, project geometry, so that all turns yellow, go to offset, click on your hexagon, go inside, type 0 0.025, enter, next hexagon, to the inside, 0 0.025, enter. We're going to hit E to extrude again, Click between the two hexagons on both hexagons and then switch the direction so it stays flat on the bottom and that goes in. Okay, we're going to save this and you can call this, uh, let's make sure we put this in a good spot. How about if I put this in manufacturing under projects for the Swiss Army keychain and we'll just call this basic top and we're going to make the back side now so I'm going to go file save as and I'm going to call this bottom basic bottom Oops, so now I have a new part file I'm just going to double click on extrusion 1 click profile, click on the first hexagon and the second hexagon and say OK. It doesn't like that. We hit accept anyway. We're going to delete extrusion 3. Now I'm going to make a new sketch on the top of this. Project my geometry and make a circle here. It's 0.26 and here. 0.26. E to extrude, we're cutting all the way through. So select both circles, switch it to cut. Look at the underside, click, right click, new sketch, click, project geometry, and then offset each circle in 0.025. Same thing here, go in, 
0.025, enter, hit E to extrude, right click on the left, click on the right, until it is going up and set it down and the distance is 0 0.025. Hit save one more time and now you have both the front piece and the back piece and we're ready to change this into a 3D printing file.